need there be any introduction, who can imagine that these sailing symbols of power, silently protecting one of nature's fairylands, could be anywhere but Holland? Before you condemn the farmers who disturb these acres of beauty, just remember that this industry earns millions of guilders from an appreciative world market, money which helps to encourage experiments. But not even farmers can inspire such rapid growth as you see in the wonders of Elfinland. What scientific charm can produce such magic colour and fascination? Imagine the pages of a child's book coming to life and you have some impression of this playground, which was built in the heart of tulip country for those of us who were children 12 long years ago. Who needs any invitation to explore? Certainly not the youngsters who wander through this storybook world and meet the fabled Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, Little Red Riding Hood and Sleeping Beauty. An invitation, you might say, which is full of Eastern promise. This is our magic carpet trip, but there was nothing mystifying about the arrival of 700 British farmers' wives who came on a trip organised by a popular farming magazine to see a country which has, incredibly, reclaimed 40% of its land from the sea. Now, the oceans of tulips which grow there could almost be symbolic gestures of triumph against the Dutch people's oldest enemy. 700 farmers' wives, and it's an airlift that would do credit to an army. Step down at Rotterdam and you step into a modern engineering miracle. A town which has shaken off the ravages of war to build a bustling, passionately proud city. The evidence is everywhere, though this bus ride will only carry you back into history. For this is one of the famous Amsterdam water buses which chug peacefully through the city's 50 canals. Anyone will point out proudly the glories of this glamorous city, which is cut into 70 islands by the maze of waterways. It's called the Venice of the North, and it's easy to understand why. Amsterdam and Rotterdam too had the self-same historic flavour, until bombs ironically cleared the way for a brave new one. For this Rotterdam is an architect's dream, a dream which has produced the line barn, a shopper's paradise where the motor car is strictly out of bounds. It's pedestrians only in this ultra-modern shopping centre, but none of them wants to lose this reminder of old Holland. Even yesterday's hard-wearing clogs are probably today's souvenirs. Zadkini's statue stands as a tribute to war-torn Rotterdam, but towering above everything is the 300-foot Euromast. Just another incredible sight in this modern city, but perhaps even more wondrous still when you come to realise the tower took only 23 days to build. The restaurant was assembled on the ground before being hoisted to the top. So much to see and so much to sample as you look across the world's number two port. Just think, those ships may be bringing the delicacies for tomorrow's menu. Those farmers' wives could scarcely have considered this view of Holland when they left England. It's a view which makes it hard to imagine that a short trip down the road can carry you back to the heart of tulip country.
Cadiz is the destination for over 25,000 ocean-going ships a year. But look inland and you'll see a whole armada of vessels drifting upstream for their cargoes of colour. For how could anyone, amid all this architectural wonder, forget that the real wonder of Holland is the colour in the fields? Don't think this cargo is destined for a watery grave. Quite the opposite, in fact, for Dutch farmers who only produce bulbs use the flowers at festival time. You might even call it painting with nature. Why worry about the weather? And why worry if you're not part of the procession? There are flowers enough for everyone. So just set to work on a mosaic in the front garden. This is a sight straight out of a glossy guidebook. There's a 30 mile route before this wagon train of colour reaches the end of the trail, but it's a trail that shows those farmers' wives the hues that not even our English style drizzle can dilute. Rain and rainbow colours all at the same time. Colour tells its own story of happiness, a story which even the weather cannot overshadow. Tulip time is more than an event. It's a memory that forever colours your concept of this colourful world.